Hi, this is John Meath, Michi Fanzine. This is the first installment of the video log, video blog, vi vlog, whatever, whatever they call these things. I don't know. I'm winging this as I go. Got reviews for you, and I got to see one show because I don't get out of the house much anymore. Yeah. Moving on to the Orchids. The LP is called Dreaming Kind. For those of you who don't know the Orchids, Man, they are a long-running Scottish band from Glasgow. They, um, they're they great. They were on the old label Sarah Records, which is no longer around. They're currently on Skep Wax Records out of the UK. And that'll tie in with the next uh, installment of the Skep Wax Heavenly Reissues. But back to the Orchids LP, the whole report of the LP is on the blog. It's just really, really uh, poppy, well-written. Man, the production is top-notch. But um, I can say this. Um, you don't have to really, you don't really have to know their old stuff to get into this record. If you can admire um, simplicity in songwriting and, you know, again, really, I'm talking a lot about melody, but the Orchids have it. And, man, they're seasoned at it. And they're great and this is just a you know a logical next step for them and um, a couple of the standout tracks or like absolute favorite one is something missing because it has like a cardigans disco groove has kind of like a funky vibe and um way sings the, i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know what to do anymore i don't know what to say man this is great I'll play a few seconds of it hopefully uh YouTube doesn't, uh, you know, attack me. I don't know. I don't know what I can do anymore. But anyway, it's a great LP from start to finish. Um, I recommend it. If you're into indie pop and you don't know who the Orchids are, man, somehow get that old get that older material going and then check out the dreaming kind or even better just check out the G dreaming kind and then go backwards into their catalog i don't think anybody who's a fan of that style will be disappointed and um man it's just it's great magnifique all right moving on the bets man if you're a fan of Jangle Pop, you got to check out the Beths if you haven't already. They're from New Zealand, and man, man, it's just simple, seemingly simple chord progressions and great melodies. I believe there's a, the main vocalist is female, and the rest of the band harmonizes, and it's just freaking great. Um, Man, the new record, it's called Expert in a Dying Field. And from what I heard of it at the time of the review, which is on the blog, it's just fantastic. I mean, as far as indie pop, it just really doesn't. They are top in their class. And so that came out in September. And moving on, we had a song from Quicksand. Man, Quicksand. Love those guys for ages since that first 7-inch. They uh, just drop a song called Giving the Past Away. It's heavy, and it's just like um, Distant Populations. If you know that last thing they put out, it was a full record. However, uh, the emphasis is on the, man, the chorus melodies are rich, and um, everything else is, if you love those guys, or you know, if you love those guys like I do, you won't be disappointed. Uh, you know, Alan Cage drumming, Vega bass. Um, they added Stephen Brodsky from Cave In, as you might or might not know. It's top notch, but man, the, the, the chorus and the, the way Walter's singing on this one's really, really, really. There's some sweet melody. Um, so that was just one song. I don't know what's. What else is in store? But check that out. You can find that on what I'm, you know, I'll flash their stuff. All right. And then the next thing I found out was the Persian Leaps. I believe 
This is a project out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. And their emphasis is on catchy songwriting the hooks. If you know the band's Teenage Fan Club, and Orange Juice kind of akin to that. They have a little bit of the replacements thing, but uh, honestly, I'm only familiar with the first two replacements, so to speak, and that's pretty edgy and heavy, as is like, you know, early Husker Du. It's, this is more jangly. Um, what else about them you need to know? Oh yeah, there's a little bit of REM undercurrent going through there, but it's, 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 uh, you know, early REM maybe when they were less, um, commercial. They're more like, you know, we're just a, an art pop band out of Athens, Georgia, right? There's a little bit of that. And then, um, lastly, oh, what's what they got going on? They got the, um, Holy shit. Oh yeah, of course, there's an old band called Velvet Crush. There's times they remind me of Velvet Crush, who are a great jangle pop band. But anyway, Persian Leaps. Uh, Machines for Living is the EP. Check it out, it's on Landski Records, and that was uh, late in this month. Anyway, good times. Next is Soulside, Washington DC band who had a long hiatus. Um, as far as LPs go, anyway, they put out two new songs. They're really good. They're not like um, early Discord stuff, if you know that stuff. It's not. Don't expect like Minor Threat, SOA, anything like that. Um, it's also not going to be quite like um, any of the stuff on Soon Come Happy, but it's still very. Uh, I'll say it's charged. It's lively. It's just you know it's mature, but it's not like. Uh, I think I said it's not boring and stuffy or lifeless, and that would I would say that's be ac that's accurate, and I stand by that statement. And they've got a whole new LP coming out on Discord, so I'm sure you guys will. If you know dis if you know Discord, you know Soulside, you're gonna be all over it. Anyway, that was uh, and I think that's it for now. Oh yeah, there was a show, local show. Uh, let's see, I live in uh, the Phoenix area. I saw a band called Goodbye Ranger, who I spoke about already. Um, so it was a two-piece. They sounded incredible for a two-piece, and it's just dreamy, you know, pulling from, and I hate the term, shoegaze, uh, pulling from shoegaze, but, you know, I consider them dream pop. Uh, I got to chat with the one of the creators, uh, Andrew. We both agree we're not a fan of that term, but we love the music, and uh, so they just killed it. Um, they're working really hard, and they put on a great show. Um, so check them out and they're they're playing mostly in this area in California but who knows hopefully they'll get to go on the road and spread their music with everybody sooner than later and then opening for them was a local band called details of eating and I want to say it's hard to put a finger on what they play it's kind of um, it's alternative it's it's you know they've got their hands and feet in different waters However, two of the members are from a local band called Health and Rifle Club, and I absolutely love the, that band. They're definitely going for more of a, a new wave mixed with uh, indie pop, where you know there is some shoegaze elements to that. And um, so I'm curious to see where is Details of Eating gonna land. And I will say, the band's played a handful of shows. Like they, it can't be more than like, well, maybe it's coming up on ten shows for them. And the show I saw them, it was, you know, low number show, extremely well rehearsed and played played very well at a place called Focal and it's a Vietnamese restaurant. And man, it was a good time. I recommend checking out Details of Eating Goodbye Ranger if you're into like modern alternative and indie and dream pop. Um, so that was that. I don't get out much, you know, pretty much stay in a cage self-imposed anyway that's it thanks for tuning in don't forget to uh like subscribe and uh share and i will see you soon for another installment of some type of nonsense like this all right